got there, bud. We got, we got a big one. We got a big one to start us out here. My buddy Scott Walsh and I are fishing way up in northern Minnesota, rainy lake. Early fall, I guess. We go. Oh, it's I missed got one. Missed I missed one. one. And this is our nice one. This is our first afternoon up here, and we're just kind of getting the lay of the land. We've been hitting some windy points. It's kind of a blustery day, and throwing a hodgepodge of baits at them, catching a lot of 14 to 16 inches, which is typical for up here. And this is uh, our first nice one. Here we go. That just hammered a search bait and. Scott's got a good one too. We've got the Minn Kota on spot lock. This thing ate it so good, I'm gonna need a pliers. You got a big one too? Yeah, not as big as that one. This is just a little guy. There's that one. Spinner bait fish. Away. Nice double though to get the open of the show. And you can see where he ate that search bait all the way down. And they're putting on the feed bag for the winter, right, Scotty? Yeah, it's uh it's been a funny year. We had a really early spring and it got hot, unseasonably hot for here pretty much all summer. And it seems like the fish have just gone to like the fall feeding mode, maybe a little bit earlier um, than they normally would. I don't know if that's Look at the belly. a strange summer. Yeah, I mean, that's like a fall fish, right? Well, we haven't fished this lake together in a number of years. So let's while, yeah. get out there and get some Rainy Lake Smallies. Woo. One thing we're seeing, Scott, is these fish are definitely showing a preference for windy shorelines and points today, huh? We fished a couple spots out of the wind to get a little break from the wind, and it just wasn't, just wasn't happening. So here we are in the wind. On a big body of water like this, I mean, we're fishing a shield lake here, right? Rainy lake. The whole thing is basically a chunk of rock, right? There's rock everywhere. And you might be on a stretch of shoreline or a flat that's three, 400 yards long. Um, fish usually aren't scattered over the whole thing. There's always a, a couple key pieces of cover or a key break uh, that the fish are relating to. Classic example is right where we are right now. If you look on the Mega 360 on the right hand side of us, you can see all of that basketball size rock and gravel and there's a fish spit the hook but the first 50 yards as we were just talking about the the technology was basically flat rock you could see that on the mega as soon as we get into this gravel area that's where the bass have been holding for there's us today one. now scott's hooked up so we know that that flat rock isn't holding right. them and we can see these rocks and cast to them rather than putting the boat on top of them just, just a, little, a small bass just a little guy Really nice pile of rocks right off the bow here. And we've got those casting rings on there that allow us to know how what our distance is. So each of those rings is 20 feet. So we know that we got rocks out there in front of us, 20 to 40 feet. Basically a long cast out. Here's one. Well, we've been fishing in the wind all afternoon and having a ball catching a bunch of smallmouth, but Scott and I were both uh, looking forward to catching some smallmouth on top water. And Looks like you got a, maybe a stout one there. Yeah. I oh, I got so. another one. And there's a double. I'm going to go to the back with I'm this guy. Yeah, mine's, mine's smaller here. He's not, uh, not going to be much trouble. This fish and this skitter prop on a 6.6 medium light. So it's a, it's a fun one. That's a good fish. Yeah, just a little, little guy. He's not like that, not like that horse, not like that horse you got. Here we go. Beauty. Awesome. Yeah, beauty, huh? <laughs> That's fun. I'll stay out of the wind if we're going to catch fish like this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Almost 18 and a half. What a beauty. Let her go. Oh my God. I was, I was, oh, that's not a small one. We get a little bit embarrassed was, on how I caught it. Was that it. just sitting out there? It was. <laughs> now he's got a bunch of salad with him now. <laughs> Since I got him on the meat stick, I'll just boat flip him, but 
What a uh, what a great way to end the day, huh? They're just, they're just feeding early for fall, I guess. Pretty heavy fish for an August fish. Not real long. He's only like a, I don't even, is he even 17 inches? Just barely. Just kind of square one. That was fun. Yeah, absolutely fun day, right? Finishing up on topwater bass on Rainy Lake. When you think about Rainy Lake, right, you kind of automatically think, you know, smallmouth on topwater. So. I, I, when I think smallmouth, I think topwater whenever <laughs> you can get them. So we had fun catching them a bunch of different ways today, but the jerk bait bite was hot for us on those windy points. And of course, topwater for smallmouth is hard to beat. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching this segment as much as Scott and I enjoyed making it. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.